Okay, people, so this was something that I definitely had to cover without a shadow of a doubt. For those that know me, for those that have been following, you know how much I've been a massive fan of Black Clover pretty much since even before its inception because I was a fan of Yuki Tabata, the creator of Black Clover, from when he first serialized his first manga that he got into Shonen Jump, Hungry Joker. And yeah, I've been a big fan ever since they had the one shot and then the serialized version came out. And yeah, I've been supporting it. So I've been kind of behind Ram behind the author of Black Clover Yuki Tabata for some time now. If you missed it, they just dropped 60 pages worth of content for Black Clover. Basically three manga chapters that were absolutely fire. I read them and there was a lot of insanity going on in there and whatnot. But in particular, something that I wanted to talk about that caught my interest was the fact that Yuki Tabata, the creator of Black Clover, has doubled down on something that he previously said regarding weekly shonen jump you know in case you don't i'm gonna tell you basically black clover was initially serialized in weekly shonen jump from i want to say it was 2015 all the way up until 2023 when it got transferred over from weekly shonen jump that was released yes people weekly to <laughs> jump giga which is a quarterly magazine that releases every three months although the next one comes in january so there will only be a two month delay in between this release and the next one but regardless of what the schedule change was drastically different for yuki tabata and it seems as though for the most part this wasn't a case of like oh sales aren't great or it's not performing as expected so get it out of weekly shonen jump this seemed more like at the request of yuki tabata it seemed as though yuki tabata the creator of black clover really was just like yo i can't do this weekly stuff and we've seen already countless countless examples of authors that just can't take it can't handle it and overall kind of go into that yo dog i'm I'm falling apart doing this weekly schedule. Look at Kohei Horikoshi all the way up until the end. Kohei Horikoshi was constantly having to take breaks because his health was kind of dwindling doing the, you know, weekly grind, so to speak. And Yuki Tabata was no exception. He was constantly saying, yo, my family's going through it. I'm going through it. Black Clover is going on break this, that, and the third. He was going through it. You know what I'm saying? Well, it seemed as though after he basically was switching over from weekly Shonen Jump to Jump Giga, he said something along the line lines of basically he called out weekly shonen jump as that schedule being hell he referred to it as hell and again he's not alone in saying something like that i mean it wasn't that long ago at all that mikio ikamoto the artist of the boruto manga also kind of referred to that style of manga doing it weekly as basically unsustainable it's unrealistic and something that he personally wouldn't be interested in doing which is, speaks volumes and also explains why boruto is monthly and not weekly. Well, Yugi Tabata in his latest author comment in Jump Giga from the latest three chapters that just came out, he doubled down on that. He actually didn't back down. He actually said something which I'm shocked that they published this author comment and allowed him to like shout outs to i guess jump for allowing him to express himself freely even though it's kind of i don't want to say at the expense of them but definitely this comment probably wouldn't be something they would want out there from a former author that you could say whatever you want about black clover 20 million sold okay baby 20 million copies of that manga is out there right now it had an anime that ran for like a hundred and what was 160 something episodes it had a movie like this is a very established and successful author regardless of the naysayers or whatnot well in his latest author comment he doubled down on calling out shonen jump for what he feels it truly is here's what he said and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want more anime and manga news videos all of that good stuff ishikawa koki my final soldier which i'm assuming he's meaning like one of his last like assistants that he's had for a long time that's been with him throughout maybe the weekly shonen jump grind or whatnot has now also started serialization in weekly shonen jump salutations to all my comrades who have now gotten a taste of quote unquote that hell now if you know anything about japanese politics and i'm not referring to like politics as far as like government and things like that i'm meaning as far as like the way you maneuver the way you behave the way people in japan talk and speak they don't really use disparaging remarks especially about a company especially about a company that they work for because even though he's in jump giga he's still a part of shueisha that owns both conglomerates of weekly shonen jump jump giga all of the magazines in general so for him to do that kind of 
a little bit confused as to how he was able to do that. I'm kind of confused as to why he would do that in terms of speaking out. I think we're in a different era. I think we're in a different age now where people are just not caring anymore as far as like, bro, if I'm going through it, if you are putting me through a living nightmare i'm going to actually i don't want to say he's acting out but i'm just going to keep it real and keep it pushing and keep it moving with myself because again this isn't the first time that yuki tabata has come out and said bro i can't do the weekly weekly is not for me it's just way too hectic and that's not to say that he doesn't love doing it and that's not to say that he won't keep creating manga keep on doing what he loves moving forward it's just he needed to do what was best for him. He needed to make adjustments for himself. He needed to create the lifestyle that fits him because clearly the weekly stuff was no joke and clearly the weekly stuff wasn't for him. I mean, we've seen so many authors regardless, not even just weekly. Look at God rest his soul, Kentaro Miura. Rest in peace, Kentaro Miura. We saw what happened with him and he wasn't even weekly. The man was doing every so often. Like, you know, Berserk would have a chapter come and then a bunch of months would pass and then maybe another would come or whatnot. Yoshihiro Tagashi, creator of Hunter Hunter, infamous. A part of his story is the fact that his health has been dwindling due to doing manga, you know, him collapsing during the serialization of his first manga, Yu Yu Hakusho. So, Yuki Tabata, first of all, there's a lot of credibility and validity to what he's saying about this weekly schedule, weekly Shonen Jump. I know I've been saying weekly a lot, but that's just to kind of emphasize the fact that every schedule isn't for everybody. Some people, they just don't want to live that type of lifestyle. Some people, it's not built for them they are meant to do other things or they meant to maneuver in other ways and that's okay and i respect yuki tabata beyond measure for doubling down on his true honest feelings about how he feels about working at weekly shonen jump him saying you know it's hell and even kind of giving best wishes to his final soldier quote unquote that's still a part of the whole regime of weekly shonen jump i respect yuki tabata beyond words for speaking out i even gotta throw some respect for shonen jump for allowing that or you know jump giga the, the powers that be for allowing him to express himself and how he truly feels and i just want to say god bless yuki tabata god bless anybody for that matter that is navigating their lifestyle because whatever they were doing was just not necessarily working out the best for them and kind of navigating and just because the schedule isn't the greatest doesn't mean you have to abandon your passions if you're really passionate about something whatever the job may be whatever the career may be whatever it may be ultimately just do what's best for you but never abandon what you love completely because Yuki Tabata even though jump weekly was hell for him he's still creating manga and i don't see him ever stopping even if black clover ends in jump giga i see that man doing this because he loves it for the rest of his life